Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk. And today I'm going to film a random haul. The amount of money that you're going to think I spent in one trip is just, oh my, it's going to blow your mind. This is stuff that the past couple months, I mean, really, past couple months, since I went to New Orleans in February. So you're getting a big haul. So I hope that you guys like this and I'm going to jump into it because I have a feeling this is gonna be long. Mostly everything is DVDs. So first and foremost, Megan, it's your fault. I love Lucy. Oh my god, let's, let me try to get all of those. Okay, all at once, let's see if, is that all of them? Okay. So I have season one, six, three, and two of I Love Lucy. I'm missing two of the seasons, I think. I watched them when I hang out with Megan and then Corey and I started watching because Megan got me obsessed with them and I got Corey obsessed with them. And, it's just turned into like a nighttime ritual where I'll just watch them before I go to sleep. So they were on sale at Target, so I got them and I need to find the other couple seasons so I can get like the same set so they match because just like I am with books matching, I am with DVDs matching. Next DVD I got, which is really like a, a series, so DVD series, TV series, Orphan Black, and it's all Brianna's fault. Thanks, Brianna, no, really, thank you. So now me, Jess, and Brianna and Bella are all obsessed with this and we are freaking out because by the time this is up, it'll already, the second season will be started, but so, we're all obsessed with this. All you really need to know is, a clone is never alone. That's, I swear I've said this before. I went into this thing blind and I think that's the best way you can go into it because if you think of like the synopsis for it, you might talk yourself out of it or think it's cheesy and this is one of the best executed, just, it's, oh, it's so good. Next, I got Inside Lewin Davis. This is one of my favorite movies of 2014. Just because I feel like you can watch this thing 25 times and still not completely understand every little aspect and detail of this movie, but it's just so beautifully done. It was raw at the Oscars, let me just tell you. I didn't see Gravity, nor do I intend to because I am deathly afraid of space, and it's because I went to NASA too many times as a child. So outer space just, it scares me. But this one should have won the music, okay? Should have. Why the hell did booming and com booming and <laughs> when over beautiful music. I don't understand. It was robbed. It was robbed. This is a fantastic movie. Coen Brothers. Have you heard of them? If you haven't heard of them, well, you've been living under a rock or something. They're amazing. It is not upbeat. I guess I should definitely tell you that if you're going into this thinking it's going to be some kind of upbeat movie, you will be seriously disappointed. It's about a struggling musician and he's just down on his luck and, you know, going couch to couch and just surviving and he's just never recognized. The thing is the dialogue in this is really witty and it's funny, but it's it's just so freaking well done. I cannot rave about this thing enough. Next, I got Catching Fire because, um, duh, it's Catching Fire and I love The Hunger Games. No, I haven't reviewed them like the books. I have read the books before the movies. I get that question a lot. So I just kind of thought this was the perfect opportunity to go ahead and tell you guys. Um, I don't think I will reread the books. I liked the books. Catching Fire was my favorite book, but I don't I don't know if I'm going to read them. I'm not a really big person to reread books, so I don't know. If you guys ask enough, I might, but I doubt it. But yeah, so I picked this movie up. Next movie I picked up because I am so far behind on the bandwagon. I mean, it left me 10 miles back. Frozen, I haven't watched it yet. I somehow have not ran across spoilers. I don't know what it's about, what has happened, which is just amazing to me because I watched the Shaytards and I would have thought that I just would know by now, but I somehow miraculously have not found out how it ends or what it is even about, except that there is an adorable snowman named Olaf and he sings. So I bought this because I'm, I've been assured countless times that I will love it. Next, I got via recommendation of Megan yet again. She and I have really similar movie tastes. I take her opinion quite seriously. Serious stuff, guys. Um, but I got Empire Records. I just picked this up from Half Price Books. Hopefully it's not too scratched up. If it is, just let's just let's just hope it's not. Um, I have no clue what this is about. I've yet to watch this. It has Liv Tyler, which I'm obsessed with. She's like my woman crush. She's gorgeous. And last but not least, my easily most watched movie that I have just appalled that I actually don't own. I just I have it on every DVR just because I randomly search if it's on television. Um, I've never actually seen the non-television edited version, which. I could be missing entire scenes. I'm so appalled and kind of just like scolding myself for not actually seeing the entire non-TV version of this. Jeepers Creepers, it's my all-time favorite horror movie. It had an awesome backstory for the 
the, the creature thing, which is just, it's still just terrifying to me. Every 23rd spring, he comes out for 23 days and he feeds. I think that's how it goes. I almost had this movie memorized. I prob I know I've watched it over 30 times, at least. No shame. I do have a couple other things that aren't DVDs though, like five, so I have a couple things. Um, the first thing I got was at a Colleen Hoover book signing over in Katie. She loves going to that Katie Budget Books place, and I like it because it's adorable and quaint. But she was selling some of Griffin Peterson's uh, CDs and stuff that went along with the Maybe Sunday album. I picked this up. I already had it on iTunes, but um, I picked it up anyway. I love having physical formats of CDs and stuff because I don't like the digital age. I like having things in actual form so that I know if my computer crashes and I lose all iTunes, then I still have it. Even though I know there's clouds and backups and stuff, it just it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside to know that I have safety net. Next thing I got is nothing really new for me, but I'm not sure if I actually mentioned this in the haul quite yet, so maybe you guys don't know, I'm not sure. But I got the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is in in one I renewed. It is my foundation. It's a little bit yellow on me, but um, after I powder and stuff, it blends really well. You can't really see it blends pretty well. I'm very, very pale, so this is about as good as it gets for me. But this stuff stays on, which I love. I can't go back to regular drugstore foundation. I've tried doing it. I also wanted to try out this Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation, and this is in Fair Honey. I'm gonna have to open this, aren't I? And it looks like this. It has like a little net and whatnot where you just take it's like a, it's a soft net. When people didn't say it was a soft net, I was like, oh my God, what's with the hard net thing? How are you going to get the brush in this? So like a soft net, like fabric-y, fabric net kind of thing. So on those days when my skin is actually behaving and I don't want to wear a lot of makeup or I don't really feel the need to, then I can go ahead and wear this. And plot twist, you guys, this will save you so much money. If you have a regular kabuki brush, what you have to do is you just get a clear elastic and you put it around this part right here. It acts as the Airbuki brush that goes with this that fits into the net thing. I figured that out because I was not about to drop 30 however much dollars on the Airbuki brush. So I just got a little clear elastic and I put it around my Kabuki brush and I put it in the thing and I just apply it like that and it just saved me like 30 bucks. I was so happy. And then this last thing I got, I got from Urban Outfitters and it was on sale. I was surprised myself getting things on sale. Um, but it is this statement necklace and I feel like it's something that Wonder Woman would wear. But it has like these little bolt details on it all along the edges of both the top and the bottom. So that is everything for this random haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and like the bigger hauls. If you like the bigger hauls, tell me down there in the comments or if you would rather me do more often smaller hauls. I can do that too, just whatever you guys like. But I will see you guys later next time on Bookworms Talk. Bye.